I feel that I am one of the lucky to have lived as long as I have and my mind be as agile as I think it is. There's no justification of why I've existed this long whatsoever. I wasn't able to buy anybody off because there's nobody I can pay off. So I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm Sam Seibert, a fire retired captain of this department and a member of the San Jose Fire Museum. In 1951, the then 32-year-old Sam Seibert and his crew opened up Firehouse One in San Jose. 2019, Sam turned 100 years old. Firehouse is now the San Jose Fire Museum. Sam's still here and he's considered the godfather. Sam started out in 1946 as a firefighter. He worked 30 years and retired in 1976. He retired as a captain. After he retired, he still stayed somewhat involved, but not as involved as he is today with the San Jose Fire Museum. We kid him about being the godfather of the San Jose Fire Museum, but really he is. He works every day with us, the days that we do volunteer work down here and he works right alongside of us. I'm a stooge, I don't do much of anything. <laughs> I walk around and David tells me, give me a hand, I try. Working with Sam is a pleasure. He's a do it, do it today man. I wish I could learn more of that. I'm 72 and I'm the youngest guy there usually, and uh, you know, up to 100 years old. So it's, it's a, a fun place to be with all the knowledge that people have. Each one of us, has history. Don't you think history is the thing that makes the world go round? History, to me, is probably the most valuable thing we have in our life. This is my helmet, and if you look down at the top of the helmet, you see a, a big crash and a split in the top. I was wearing that when it happened. We think that Sam is the oldest living firefighter in California. August 26, 2019, we celebrated Sam's birthday with a huge party here at Station One. Sam uh, was driven up in a 1937 America La France engine that Sam rode on at one time when he was active in the department early on. The city actually honored him the day before and made it a Sam Cyber Day, so they issued a proclamation for him. So it's very special. He's very honored and very surprised that there's that many people there. I wasn't surprised. I knew there was going to be a lot of people there. He's given back to the department. He's given back to us. But more importantly, he's given back to the community. I think that's a key to his longevity. Sam is just a treasure. To be able to live his life through the stories and the, the humor, we all laugh together, and it's a pleasure. I look at all the good times that I had in the station working. To start with, it was just a job. As you become involved in it deeper, you become an uh, emotion to the public and the people you work with. I think that the one thing that I'll take away from is the relationship that I enjoy with several members of this organization. There's not much that I wouldn't do for them. I guess that's what keeps me going, is the fact that life's too important to sit there and let it go to waste. I'm luckier than the average, I guess, that's all there is to that.